Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we'll be learning all about React.js. So let's jump in and see what's in store for us. So we'll be covering topics on what is React, why React, features of React, React prerequisites, and its industry trends. Let's go ahead and begin with what is React. React is a JavaScript library used to build fast and interactive user interfaces for both web and mobile applications. Now, one thing that makes React extremely powerful is the fact that it's open source. Any user can access its source code, modify it, and enhance it. In a typical model view controller architecture, React defines the view part of the application. It is also responsible for how the app looks and feels. Fun fact, React was built by Jordan Walkey, an engineer at Facebook. Now, let's go ahead and see how React works in real time. Consider a typical web application, say Instagram. The entire UI of the web page is divided into several components. We have the search component, a profile description component, stories component, and a post list component. These components make the code easier to debug and always remain discrete. Components also make development and maintenance of web applications faster as multiple developers can work simultaneously on different components of the same web application. Now let's see why React is so popular these days. React helps in creation of dynamic web applications. It also provides performance enhancements. Now there are several performance enhancements like virtual DOM and one-way data binding. We'll learn about these topics a little later in the video. React uses reusable components. Now this helps decrease the development time. React involves unidirectional flow of data. React also has a small learning curve. Compared to other frameworks like Angular, React is much easier to learn. React can also be used for mobile applications. React recently released an extension called React Native that is used for developing mobile applications that are cross-compatible. It also has dedicated tools for easy debugging. Now let's dive in to the features of React. First, let's understand JSX. JSX is a syntax extension to JavaScript. Using JSX, we can add HTML to the JavaScript file. All coding in React is done using JSX. It also helps in making the code easier to understand and debug. Ultimately, JSX is a combination of JavaScript and HTML. Now let's consider a small example. Const simple here is a JavaScript notation. H1 tags indicate HTML. Again, the semicolon indicates JavaScript. Note that the semicolon is not mandatory. However, it's a good practice to include it. Moving on, the next feature is Virtual DOM. DOM, which is an acronym for Data Object Model, actually defines how documents are accessed and manipulated in a web page. It represents the entire structure of the web page in the form of a tree. Now let's see how this actually works. React creates a virtual DOM that is the exact copy of the real DOM. Traditionally, whenever something changes in the web application, all objects in the real DOM are updated. This makes it extremely slow. Let's see how React counters this. Now consider two objects whose states have been changed. React now compares the virtual DOM with the virtual DOM snapshot that was taken right before the update. By comparing the new virtual DOM with the pre-update version, React figures out exactly which virtual DOM objects have changed. Now React only updates those objects on the virtual DOM. This makes a big difference when it comes to speed. Coming to the next feature, performance. React uses virtual DOM. As discussed earlier, virtual DOM impacts the speed of the web applications. We also took an example of Instagram and learned how multiple components can affect the development time. They help improve performance drastically. The next feature is one-way data binding. This means information flows in only one direction. One-way data binding is specifically used when information is displayed and not updated. Remember that the components of React are functional in nature. That is, they receive information through arguments and pass information via their return values. The next important feature is extensions. React has many extensions that we can use to create full-fledged front-end applications. It provides server-side rendering, which means that the application is rendered on the server rather than in the browser. React Native, which is a React extension, is used for developing mobile applications. There are many other extensions that React provides for every scenario in web development. Now let's look at a few of them. React Native lets you build mobile applications using only JavaScript. A React Native app is a real mobile application and not just a web application running on your mobile devices. 
Thousands of applications like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Skype use React Native. The next popular React extension is Flux. Flux is the application architecture that Facebook uses. Flux implements a unidirectional flow, which makes it easier to understand what actually is going on. Now let's see how it works. When we trigger an action, the dispatcher will get notified. The dispatcher receives actions and dispatches them to the stores. A store is what holds the data of an application. Stores will register with the application's dispatcher so that they can receive actions. Data from stores is displayed in views. Actions define the internal API of your application. They capture how anything might interact with your application. The last feature of React is debugging. React applications are easy to debug thanks to the large and active developer community. You can practically debug React codes within your browser. Now notice the small React extension icon at the top right corner. This developer tool allows the user to inspect the code and also easily debug it. Moving on, let's learn about the building blocks of React. Components, state, and props are the essential concepts that one should know before implementing React. They are the foundation on which React is built. Now what exactly are React components? Components are the building blocks of any React application. React divides the user interface into multiple components wherein each component defines how a particular element is viewed in the application. React components remain discrete and are processed independently. Another feature is reusability. Components can be reused multiple times across the application. This reduces the development time. Consider the following code snippet. A component is implemented as a JavaScript class having some state and a render method. State is the data which we want the component to render. The render method is responsible for how the UI looks and feels to the user. The next concept is state. State of a component is an object that holds some data. This data influences the output of a component. Every time the state of an object changes, the component is re-rendered onto the screen. Now let's see what props are. Props, or short for properties, allow us to pass arguments or data to components. Properties help make components more dynamic. It is important to define all the properties, their types, and their default value. Props are passed to components in a way similar to that of HTML tag attributes. Now consider the following code snippets. This shows exactly how properties are passed to components. Also, detailed illustrations on components, props, and state will be shown in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned for that. Moving on, let's go through some of the things that you should know before you can actually start working on React. You should be familiar with programming concepts like functions, objects, arrays, and classes. One should also have a basic knowledge of JavaScript and a familiarity with HTML. Don't worry if you feel like you're not good at them. Once you start working on them, you'll get a good hang of it. Finally, let's go through the impact of React on the IT industry and get insights into the salaries of React developers. Statistics show that React developers earn way more than other web developers. According to Payscale, the average salary for a React developer in the United States is a whopping 91,000 US dollars. The average salary for a React developer in India is 7.25 lakhs per annum. Over the recent years, React has gained immense popularity and is being adopted by many companies. According to the data by Google Trends, React has had a better growth scale compared to other frameworks like Angular and Vue. Statistics show that front-end developers have wholeheartedly adopted this lightweight framework, foregoing other available options. If you are skilled and have a knack for front-end development, React can help you gain fantastic career opportunities. Lastly, talking about a few companies that use React devotionally, we have Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, Dropbox, WhatsApp, among others. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about React. To gain more in-depth knowledge about React, watch out for our upcoming videos. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.